Hey everyone, Cody here, and uh, welcome back to another video. Today I've got another dabbed painting for you. Corrugated plastic to... Oh, actually, oh yeah, I forgot to use the trowel on this one. So I used a trowel, and I poured some of my white off the side of my table. So there's a giant pile of white paint now on my floor. Not as if there wasn't paint there before. So I guess it's not really uh, much different than before I made this painting. But anyway, colors I'm using... Just blue. I think it's, I don't know, just a regular blue. Um, orange, red, and white. Now, I can tell you right off the bat that I really enjoyed this painting. So I was really impressed with the color displacement and just the way that it turned out. Like, I really liked this painting. The problem is, is that it wasn't flat. So it actually, um, it actually didn't stay the way that it, that you see it at the end of the video it pulled together so uh, the painting actually got ruined and it was really disappointing because i was really impressed with it and that it pulled so uh the painting did not end up the way that i wanted it so i was really disappointed in that because it looked very very cool and i actually had to throw it away because the colors kind of ran together and didn't look good so Again, kind of disappointed on that one, but it is what it is. You, you know, they don't all turn out good. And this is kind of why I've been sticking to smaller paintings as I try different things out because I've been testing out different like methods and uh, tools and stuff like that. And the fact that I've been able to kind of test out these, you know, dabbed paintings, um, it means that I can, you know, I, I, I kind of have a better understanding of it. And when I go to do some larger ones of this style, I'll have an idea of already uh, like how they're going to turn out and, and what's going to happen with them. So I would recommend that if you paint at all, whether you do abstract or not, you know, if you're going to test something out, test it on smaller, you know, obviously like smaller canvas or watercolor paper or something like that, where you can kind of get an idea of, you know, you can get a feel for it before you move on to large canvas. I've, I've gone on the large canvas without testing stuff before and, and I've ruined paintings, uh, doing it. So here, what I'm doing is just kind of displacing some of the color so that it's a little more evened out. Um, I was also filling in any gaps where there wasn't paint. So just as a heads up, so you know what I was doing. Um, then I was looking for any more little gaps, uh, where it was just where the raw canvas was coming through. And once I had them kind of all filled in, uh, then the painting was pretty good. So again, I was really happy with this painting, really disappointed that it didn't turn out, uh, that it got ruined at the end because I really liked it. But it is what it is. I'm sure I can make another one in the future. And that's just, these things happen. Um, so ripped off the tape. You'll see it as kind of the final thing. And then that's pretty much it. So I don't know about you guys. I, uh, you know, I love, again, I like doing the scrape paintings, but these paintings are just turning out really well and I'm really enjoying making them. And I kind of go through cycles, but at the same time, like I, if I don't enjoy it, then it's harder for me to even get around to making them. So making these paintings and just enjoying the process of doing it has been making me want to do these videos again. So I don't know. I, I just like showing you guys what I'm learning. And if you can use it, great. If not, then I don't know. At least we spent a few minutes together. But anyway, this is the final piece. Again, I really liked it before it got ruined. And uh, yeah, that's it. So I'll catch you guys in another video. Take care.